Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17, my player career. This is episode 4. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment. Okay, so in today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Chelsea at home at the Stadium of Light. And then we face Manchester United, my boyhood club. One of the teams I'd like to sign for, along with possibly Real Madrid. The main objective for this series is to become a world-class player, hopefully win a major uh, domestic league title in England, maybe even Germany, uh, Syria, and La Liga, of course, and hopefully the Champions League. So our career trajectory so far, uh, we're currently, I'll quickly just go through the date and just tell you the timeline before I go through the clubs. So it's, we're currently in season one still. Season 1 of the career. It's the 13th of December 2016, so it's the 13th of December. I've handed in my transfer request already. At the moment, I'm just like a prolific striper, a striker at Sunderland, 19 years of age, 76 overall, roughly worth about £10 million. So I started off at Salzburg, had my youth career, had I went through the youth academy, played a couple of first-team appearance for Red Bull Salzburg in their friendlies, and in the Austrian Bundesliga. I handed in my transfer. Middlesbrough, Bournemouth, and Sunderland went for me. I went to Sunderland, and we have been playing so, so well. I am I have Austrian nationality, uh, playing for the Austrian international team because of my grandfather. If I was a world-class footballer, I could potentially, I do have the option, if I wanted to, to play for Austria uh, over Australia. But, uh, yeah. I am Australian. I was born in Australia. I see myself as Australian. So let's have a look at my stats at the moment. So I'm 19 years of age, 76 overall. My training's been coming along swimmingly. So let's break down the competitions. So I've played three matches in the Carling Cup. I've scored four goals. In the Premier League, I've played 11 matches and scored 13 goals. In the last episode, we managed to score against Arsenal. And we also managed, we managed to beat Arsenal in the last episode. We managed to draw against Liverpool 0-0. So 11 11 games, 13 goals. That's pretty good, if I do say so myself. I'm currently the Premier League's top goal scorer, followed by Costa Hazard. But there's no other Sunderland players really up there with the assists. And, uh, of course, yeah, with the assists or in the goals. So I'm sort of just leading the line for them. Okay, I'll quickly show you guys the Premier League. So, with 15 games played, Chelsea are first, followed by Arsenal. We're sitting in third. Out of the 15 matches I've played, was it 11 or 12? We, we have 8 wins, 4 draws, and 3 losses. So, even though I've scored every game, we've still drawn 4 and lost 3. I've, yeah, I've nearly scored. I've scored... Yeah, I have scored... Yeah, I've 11, it was 14. Yeah. I don't know if I've scored technically every game, but I've scored more than what I've played. Essentially, that was trying what I was trying to say. So Manchester City are in 5th, Man United 10th, Liverpool 11th, Bournemouth, Southampton, and Hull in the relegation zone. So yeah, hopefully I, c hopefully I can move in January. Or maybe you guys want me to see through at Sunderland. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this up. Top half of the table, top four we probably can do. I'm leading the line very, very well. But look at Chelsea, 34 goals they've scored this season. Insane, 10 more than any other side in the top four. Let's get stuck into Chelsea here today. If I can get a goal, I'll be happy. Let's see who Conte plays. So we're at home at the Stadium of Light. It is a cloudy day. So I'm leading the line with Jermaine Defoe. We've got Katamol, Gibson, McNair playing in the midfield. Okay. Oviedo has been so good. I've been linking up with him really, really well. Pickford, Chirikov, I think McNair. It's a very strong side. Let's see who Chelsea are playing. And then I don't know in this, we might have some January transfer window negotiations. I think in the next, we'll probably move club. Um, I'll hopefully, I want to try and stay in the Premier League. Maybe a top side will go for me. Or if I get like a, a top offer from another European club, we might move over to a different league. We'll just see how we go, guys. Okay, guys, welcome to the Stadium of Light. Welcome to Sunderland. Red Bull Salzburg to Sunderland. What a career. Traje traje I, can't even say traje I can't even say trajectory, right? Getting bloody fucking tongue-tied. This is going to be a tough Chelsea team. Let's see who they're fielding. Okay, so Costa's leading the line. 
has it at the left. Willian, Kante, Matic in the midfield. They're matching us with the five at the back. Alonso, Aspilicueta, Zuma, uh, David Luiz, Moses, and Courtois in goal. If we can beat them here today, we might be able to rock it to, uh, to second. Let's get stuck into them. Oh, no, I fluffed it up already. <laughs> trying to get it past Jermaine Defoe there. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh, trying to slip in Jermaine Defoe there with the through ball. But Kante... The destroyer, the engine in the midfield, snuffed me right out. Kante. On the ball. He's got Costa right next to him. Kante's pressing and harrowing. And he went, in my opinion, selfishly for himself. Pickford commands the shot on target. Oh, how the hell has Defoe, Defoe just won that header there? Blows my mind. Probably blew his head, actually. Oh, Defoe. Oh, it's in the air. Oh! <gasps> How the hell have I gotten this? Oh, did you see that cheeky little back heel there? Oh, I got the shot away, but the Chelsea defense really stood fast against me. What the hell is Kante doing there? And I fluffed up the shot, but I might be able to win the header there. Yeah, Kante hit the deck. Damn, Jermaine Depot put it straight back at me. I didn't call for it. Kante. Costa, Willian, Chelsea on the break here. If Chelsea don't convert from this, I'll be... Oh, okay. He popped it in the air to, uh, to Kante, but obviously he was sort of expecting Diego Costa to come through here. Come on, let's build something here. Jermaine Defoe gets tackled. We still manage to maintain possession, though. That's a bad ball to the wing. Eden Hazard tracking back quite comfortably. Moses over the top. So Willian, now I'm back on it. There's no way I'm going to meet an out-muscle Victor Moses. I might sort of try and cut into the midfield. Oh, Matic with the scooping tackle. Come on, Defoe. Get it back to me. Can't I? I've been playing not the best. Diego Costa rises to the occasion. It's still nil-nil just before the 30. Right, here we go. Come on, Jermaine Defoe. Play it to me. Gibson. Has just popped it to me. Oh, I've put it out in front of myself, but that was dangerous against Alonso. I've beaten him now. I'm going to have to put it back into the midfield. McNair. Get it back to me, my friend. I'm going to have a ping from here. I've got some space. Courtois, because he's so tall, he didn't even have to go full stretch. He just had to sort of plod on over to the shot on target. He saw that coming from a mile away. No, but not a bad strike, of course, by myself. That was an absolute rocket. Oh, come on, Sunderland. We can get something back here. We've actually had some more half chances. Oh, Jermaine Defoe gets tackled by Kante. It's currently half time at the Stadium of Light against Chelsea here today. Following a trend of similar results of teams in the top four, uh, it's either been 1 0 wins or draws. Obviously, any amount of points against these top four sides is, is really good. So, um,. At the moment, David Moyes has said that my short passing, I'm having trouble playing his attack. Yeah, I keep on losing possession, but great forward passing, great accurate. Yeah, it just sucks. It really, really does suck. This match, to sum it up, has been really tight, if I'm being honest. Right, let's have a look at the 3-3 three to three on target. Okay. And they've had 1-1. One one. I've had three shots on target by the looks of it. Did I have that first shot, though? I wasn't looking. Yeah, I've had three shots on target. But as you can see, uh, that the three of them, one was just outside the box, and the other two clearly were. So they're really just sitting back, aren't they? Costa, pressing forward. He's got Kante right next to him. Oh, my God. How has Pickford got that out? He saw it coming. He saw it coming from a mile away, though. If we can get a favourable ball out here, it's just going to be me and Jermaine Defoe up top, two on two. What a block! And McNair's found me. Right, come on, let's go. Let's break away. Moses, Defoe. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Come on, Oviedo. Gib Gibson. Oh, couldn't get the pass into me. The former United man. And Sunderland, of course. Come on, Sunderland. Come on, the Black Cats. I reckon we can score here. Over the top, Defoe. Oh, my God. How the hell has he found me here? And because I put so much of my body into that power shot, into that thrust, I hit the deck like a sack of potatoes. Oh, Gibson. Here we go. Come on, Jermaine Defoe. If it's not me that's going to score, please be you. It's still nil-nil just before the 60th. But Chelsea and Sunderland both look like they could score. 
Willian nearly got played there. Off oh, Jermaine Defoe won that. Matic back again. Eden Hazard gets tackled. Come on. This is the counter-attack here now, lads. I'm going to push it wide to McNair. It's come back to me now. I just need to cut past David Luiz. <gasps> Moses. Jesus, Mary, and Moses. <laughs> Joseph. Oh. That was... That's hit his shoulder. Not quite handball. Come on. Looks like Eden Hazard's actually marking me here. Oh, it looks like Willian's got to it. Right. I'm going to try and sit here. Into the pack. Eden Hazard's on me. I'm not going to be able to get to it. Get it back into here, though, guys. Defoe. Might be able to push under pressure. That's not bad. I think it might have clipped me. Simsy plays Kone. Kone. Oh, it's back to me now. Come on. Jack Rodwell. Oh, I've put in a key pass to him. And he sprayed it wide just before the 84th. That was the goal there. That was the winner. Come on, Jack Rodwell. I, I, maybe I should have passed a little bit early to him because he, he pushed out wide and then I saw it and then he just kept on pushing wide. A nil-nil result here today against Chelsea I'll be happy with, but since we had a nil-nil against uh, Liverpool before. I wouldn't have mind if it's... I don't mind if it's a draw, if I'm being honest, but like I want goals. You don't want to be just boring nil-nils all the time, which happens quite a lot in my player. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, Defoe. Oh, that's a foul. Fabregas is going to get a yellow for that. Dirty, but we still have a match against United, which is going to be pretty much the same. It's going to be pretty difficult as well. There's no way Jermaine Defoe is going to win that header. Oh, trying to slip it in behind him, but it's going to be a Courtois goal kick. All right. Looks like the full-time whistle is blown. It's another nil-nil result. 76 overall still. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best match. 6-3, to 4-4. Four to four. What are the results? Who got the man of the match? Uh, Zuma, by the looks of it. All right. That's the first match against Chelsea. Unfortunately, yeah, there wasn't any goals, but the points I'm happy with. Let's get stuck into United now. Okay, guys, welcome, 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 welcome to the second match of today's episode against Manchester United away at Old Trafford. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. I'm going to be facing my boyhood club. Hopefully, they can put in a bid for me in January, but we'll just have to see. I have handed in my transfer request. Playing in a player series, uh, the best way to get transferred is just to keep on spamming it, because as you can see here, I got denied a lot, but as soon as they just keep on spamming it, they'll eventually cave in. So, I'm only going to be moving, I think I'll probably try and move in the next episode, not in this one, but um, I won't move unless like a, a decent offer comes in. I'm currently worth £10 million, pounds. I'm still the Premier League's top goal scorer, I do believe. We have slipped down the table a little bit, yeah, 14 goals there. A nil-nil result against Chelsea. And a loss has put us down to 6th. So Chelsea are 1st, Arsenal 2nd, Man City 3rd, Swansea 4th, Everton 5th, Sunderland are 6th. However, there is only, what, 3-4 points separating 6th um, and 2nd. Chelsea are eight, point, 8 points clear of Arsenal there. So like I said, I want to try and stay in the Premier League. I want to win a major European... Um, league title. I don't think I'm going to do that with Sunderland. However, we'll just sort of see how... The, I have no idea who's going to bid for me whatsoever. Uh, okay, I kind of wish United could play in a black pants there. I am half tempted to play in this dreadful looking pink colour. <laughs> I think I might just play in the away white though. We'll let United play in their red. So it's a foggy match at Old Trafford. Myself and Jermaine Defoe are leading the line. Catamol, Gibson, McNair, Gibson and McNair facing their former side. Oviedo, Chirikov, um, Pickford. Let's see who Jose Mourinho is fielding. Okay, guys, welcome to Old Trafford. Welcome to the Theatre of Dreams. Mkhitaryan up front. I don't know where I would even fit in the United squad if I got a offer, 
But hopefully, I, I'm really wanting our top four side to come in for me. Okay, so they're playing a 4-3-3. Marcus Rashford leading the line. No, he's Latan. Uh, Martial Mkhitary on the left and right. That is venomous. MMR. <laughs> okay, Carrick, Pogba, and Herrera in the midfield. Whew. Carrick maybe over Herrera. Uh, oh, yeah, Carrick, Pogba, and Herrera. That's insane, yeah. Uh, Luke Shaw, Jones, Rojo, Valencia. But no... David De Gea. That could be their downfall. Uh, obviously, Ramiro isn't as good as David De Gea. He can put a shift in in Europe. Hopefully, for their sake, he can do so within uh, the Premier League. And I've lost possession to Paul Pogba instantly. McNair. Waiting for Gibson. Come on. If Defoe can win this somehow. Oh, Jermaine Defoe gets it down from his head. Gets a shot on target against Sergio Romero. Oh, okay. It looks like Marcus Rojo managed to get some sort of body contact onto it. I just need to move my mic a bit. But Romero saved. Looks like the first corner kick and Old Trafford. And Herrera is actually man-marking me. I can't get to it, but I might be able to get to this second one here if we can get it into the box. <gasps> I'm on the ball. Ugh. I wasn't expecting to uh, to get it, but I've had my first shot at Old Trafford, and by the looks of it, the pressure is getting to, getting to. I never thought in my wildest dreams, being born in Australia, electing to play for Austria, would I think I'd be at Old Trafford. Valencia. And uh, her wall, Catamol just smashed Herrera there. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I said he smashed him. It's going to be a free kick for United. Valencia. Looks like Paul Pogba's going to take this one. Jermaine Defoe's actually gone down a bit. That's a nice ball, but Jermaine Defoe's whipped it to me. Oh, I've just beaten Paul Pogba. He's going to beat me here, though. Oh, no. How the hell have I beaten? Ah, oh, Paul Pogba got the tackle back. Jesus, what a ball in from Anthony Martial to find Rashford. With this five at the back formation, it's actually, like, really helping us. We've hardly score conceded any. Yeah, but I guess in the same boat, it, it sort of makes us hardly score any with this formation. It is difficult to score. Not for me, though, but for everyone else. McNair, that was a foul on me. Oh, come off it. Oh, how did I just miss time that completely? It's nil-nil at Old Trafford after the 30. Herrera, Marcus Rashford, Carrick, and Pickford with another. He's been on fire this season, to say the least. His goalkeeping ability has been superb, and Paul Bogba. Whew, you got to be marking him. Rises to the occasion. It's still nil-nil. I don't know how. Ah, oh, Valencia and a lot of their boys tracking back. That was a piercing ball. <gasps> How's Jermaine Defoe just found him? Come on. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, my God. Jones giving away another penalty. He did one in real life a couple of weeks ago. It was against, was it Bournemouth? I can't remember. I think it might have been against Bournemouth. Hopefully, I can take this. I managed to draw it now. It's going to be um, Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine Defoe. We've won the penalty. Can we beat United here today? And we've done it. Oh, hopefully we can. Defoe's going to celebrate celebrate with Moisey, and so am I. I don't think Moisey's textured in this. No, he's not. That actually doesn't look like anything like David Moyes. But we're running to celebrate with him. We're 1-0 one, we're up against United. David Moyes back in the theatre of dreams. With a point to prove. Defoe's penalty wasn't that good, but we managed to win it there. It's because he's probably got higher stats than me. That's why I wasn't taking it. Puts it into the bottom left. We've won the penalty. I'm hoping we get some sort of accolades for that. Only second goal. Wow, that's nuts. Henrik Mikatarian finds Valencia on the ball. He is so good in real life. He's so consistent and reliable. Here we go. Oh, Viedo's picked out the tackle from him. We're still 1-0 up. We're in the second half, just before the 60. And United have a throw-in. Oh, Valencia's been fouled there by Oviedo by the looks of it. We're 1-0 up from that Jermaine Defoe penalty. I'm going to try and creep in here, just in case we need to get it clear. Oh, shit. There we go. Perfect. That's great me being there now. Come on, let's counter. Who's this? Catamol. 
Jack Rodwell. Uh, here we go. We might get the attack now. He's found Defoe. Uh, Jones has outheaded him. It's fizzled out. Defoe. Gibson. Here we go. Who's this I've just sent through? Jack Rodwell. Uh, it's offside. Damn it. Pogba. With some fancy footwork. Trying to get it into Wayne Rooney. But it looks like the full-time whistle has blown. We've scraped a 1-0 victory here today against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Wow. I don't believe it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> That's awesome stuff. Okay, 3-1, to 4-2. to two. It was a Jermaine Defoe penalty. I wish I was able to take it. But a 0-0 result against Chelsea and a 1-0 victory over United, I'm very happy with. It's currently the 26th of December. We are going to be handing in our transfer request in January. Um, I'll let... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. Hopefully, we can get some suitable offers. So, it's basically any top European side who has like £10 million to spend can probably go for us. If they're not in the top four, top five Premier League sort of sides, like your Arsenals, your Liverpools, your Chelsea's, your Spurs, your United, Man City's, probably won't go for it. And we'll just sort of see about the other European leagues. Because I actually have no idea who's actually going to put in a bid for me. I'd rather go for the top instead of going sideways to maybe a Everton or a, a Southampton. I'd probably rather stay with Sunderland because we're probably doing better in the league than them anyway. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some PSN and Xbox codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this My Player career. I can't wait to see where my journey goes. Thanks guys. Take care. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.